Hello to all our Faith Formation families from St. Francis, and a special hello to all our children. We certainly miss seeing you in our school and church building, and hope you are all doing well at home while we practice our social distancing. As principal of the Faith Formation School, I thought it was important to let you know that we at St. Francis are all praying for your safety and for an end to this ep epidemic. Did you know that the words do not be afraid appear in the Bible 365 times? I like to think that's not a coincidence, but a way to live our lives each and every day. We must always remember that God is with us at all times. So please take a few minutes out of your day to pray. Pray for all those affected by this virus. Pray for our leaders, our healthcare workers, our delivery service men and women, our scientists, our first responders, our grocery store employees, our public workers, our teachers, and everyone else that is working to get us through this crisis. Do your best to enjoy this time with your family. Hopefully you will look back on the closeness you are sharing now and appreciate your time together. Parents, homeschooling your children must be a difficult task. Pray for patience. It is our hope that religion has now become a part of your daily curriculum as well. All of our teachers have prepared lessons to get us through until after Easter, and we have emailed them to you over the past week. Please help your children with those lessons and ensure them that God is with them every day. If you have any questions about the work that was posted, please reach out to me or your child's teacher. We are here to help you. I'd like to take a moment to speak directly to the children. To our children in grades one through seven, your teachers and I miss seeing you every week. Your teachers have sent some lessons home for you, and we hope that you will ask your parents for any help that you need to complete them. Remember that we are still celebrating the season of Lent, waiting patiently for Easter and Christ's resurrection. So let's review our special song. Prayer, fasting, extra giving, we are meant to repent 40 days of sacrifice being super extra nice this is lent this is lent we need to remember to do all those things especially now that we are home with our families pray for a few minutes every day fast from being mean or impatient give our parents some extra love say we're sorry when we are unkind be extra nice to our siblings. And remember that our God is an awesome God and he is always with you. To our children in grades eight and nine, although we won't see you at our monthly session in March, we hope to have a Google Classroom or Zoom session on Sunday, March 29th. Mrs. Lucero is working hard on something, so stay tuned for more details. In the meantime, don't forget to complete your assignments that were due this month. More work will be coming for you soon. Take time to journal, pray the rosary, and spend some quality time with your family. Parents, although we cannot share in the Eucharist at Sunday Mass, exposition and adoration will take place in the church from 4 to 6.30 on Saturday and 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. on Sunday. We encourage you and your family to come into the church at those times and to spend just a few minutes with the Blessed Sacrament. It's a very powerful feeling to see Christ in the monstrance. Last Sunday, we had a live stream of Father Fernando celebrating Sunday Mass in English and Spanish, and we had over 2,000 views. We will once again be live streaming tomorrow at 10 a.m. when our pastor, Father Larry, will be celebrating Mass in English in the Parish Center Chapel. We do hope that many of you will join us for that. Father Fernando will also celebrate in Spanish at 11 a.m. I know that local businesses are asking you to support them. Your church needs you at this time, too. If you do come to the church during adoration, there will be a basket for you to drop your weekly envelopes, or you can mail them to the parish center at 125 Park Street. Each parish in the diocese has set up a GoFundMe page to help with bills and salaries that still need to be paid during this crisis please go to our St. Francis Facebook page or our St. Francis webpage to make a donation. In fact, please follow us on Facebook for all the latest news from our parish, St. Francis of Assisi Parish RP 
and St. Francis RP Religious Ed. We will be posting our mass celebrations there as well. If you don't have a Facebook page, you can go to the St. Francis webpage at stfrancisrp.org tomorrow afternoon, and the links will be posted there. We will continue to reach out to you via the Remind app, as well as email and Facebook in the coming weeks. Before I sign off, I'd like to share something I saw posted recently. Technical difficulties. scroll up there we go and the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply some meditated some prayed some danced some met their shadows and the people began to think differently and the people healed and in the absence of people living in ignorant, dangerous, mindless, and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. May the light of Christ as we move toward Easter shine in all of your lives until we meet again.